I am Fabara Nella, your Abundant Life Coach. Super excited about March and our theme, which is plants. So hopefully you're going sequentially, right? You have gone, you've subscribed to my YouTube channel, you hit that um, notification bell, and you're following along every time a new video hits because most of the time they're kind of sequential. Now, you can play around with it, but going sequentially is a good idea as well. So last time I talked about planting, I talked about the importance of really getting your roots down, getting planted an idea of what it is you want to achieve because if you're not planted in it, then it's easy to be shifted. But I want to start with a step that has to take place before you get rooted, before you can really say, I am planted in a place, right? And that is the process of germination. So now those of you who've been following me, you know I like to garden. And I have to tell you this, I'm in mourning right now. I am mourning all my plants that I lost as a result of the crazy winter storm we had two weeks ago that killed 15 broccoli plants and 20 colored green plants and I want to say let's see 12 and 10 so 22 cabbage plants my lettuce the spinach look like they're gonna bounce back the kale look like they're gonna bounce back and most of the carrot look like they'll bounce back I don't know what the onions are gonna do yet so I'm kind of in mourning, but I love gardening, and so I'm going to talk about planting. I'm going to talk about what you need to be doing now. So listen, sometimes the reason why we don't really push forth to achieve our goals is because we're scared of the process, right? So the other day I was planting some seeds indoors, you know, and I let them start indoors, and then I transplant them when it gets warm enough outside and they get strong enough. And I was thinking about this seed. I was actually planting some cucumber seeds. And, you know, I prepared the soil in this little cup. The soil was dark. It was a little moist. And I'm pushing the seeds in. And I'm thinking, if I was the seed, what would I be thinking right now? I could very well be thinking, oh my God, like, what did I ever do to you? Why are you pushing me into this dark place? It's cold and there's no light and it, it stinks because I had some cow manure in there too. And, and, and what did I ever do to you? And that seed could stay there and then its outer coat starts to break and it's like, oh my God, now you're abusing me in addition to everything else that I'm dealing with, right? But you know that the seed has to go through all of those stages in order for it then to release the roots that go down and then the shoot that has to push through the dirt. And that's why a lot of times with seeds they tell you, you know, don't bury it over this like quarter of an inch or something like that. But it's like it has to do all this work to push through that soil and don't have children or dogs or animals that then step on the soil and like kind of compact it and it's even harder work for them to do. And they have to do all of that in order to germinate, just to germinate. And then finally, uh, they break through the soil and they can see the light. And they can start dreaming of a life beyond what they've just suffered. And most of us do not commit to our goals simply because we have an understanding of the fact that part of our goal is going to require us to go to those dark places where there's no one else, it's just you and your dream and your work ethic and your vision and you've got to fight for it and you've got to make it happen and you know there's seeds that germinate in seven days black eyed peas germinate even faster than that and there's seeds that take 14 days and there's seeds that take way longer than that and who knows how long your dream seed is going to take to germinate and so a lot of times when we're in that dark, struggling place, we just figure, ah, I give up. And if seeds in natural life did that and just were like, I give up, dig me out, I'm done, we would not have any produce, right? We will not see the, the fruit of that seed. Same thing for your dreams. It may, be going, it may be hard going. It may be lonely. It may knock you down. You may cry. No one else may understand what you're going through. But if you hang on and you don't quit on yourself, you will eventually break through. Maybe seven days, seven weeks, seven months, hopefully not seven years. Although in the Bible, they did have to wait that long on some things. Um, but 
hang in there. And anytime you feel like quitting, think about that brave seed and just tell yourself, I'm braver than a seed. I can do this. I believe you can.